sometimes I cannot Just can't understand where my head is at Oh, why my heart Carlos is very, um, I call it extravagant, um, and therefore he's recognized a lot due to what he, how he expresses himself. He's one of the most professional players we have. At the beginning, I, I recognized that I wasn't, I, I was very toxic, I will be honest. Patience is the one thing that Carlos, as a Spanish guy, doesn't have. I got banned two times by Tribunal. Um, by constant flaming in the past. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not an angel, you know, I will tell you the truth. Sometimes I rage. Carlos wants to be better as a player, and he understands that he can only be better as a player if he's calm inside, if he focuses on his game alone. So we first heard about Carlos um, July of 2011, I believe, and he was flagged by our tribunal system. At the time, he just got a warning, but what we saw was in the months following, he got case after case in the tribunal, and he was quickly on his way to a perma ban. At the beginning, uh, I tend to react pretty bad to the bad games I had, to the bad words people gave to me for being just known. He is this thing, he hated champion, he hated champion. He's going to run, no, 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 not giving too many cares. I was just, you know, I'm flaming. Nobody is noticing anything. It's just my game, my thing, you know, I don't care. 
So Carlos was extremely critical on his teammates. In fact, some of the things he said were the worst we've ever seen in tribunal cases. He was well known in the community for wishing cancer on his own teammates. So when, when, when I got an email saying that I had a warning for flaming, I was actually surprised, you know? I thought uh, my behavior was like everybody's else's behavior. Wow, this guy, man. This guy is a, this guy is a douchebag, man. It was the repeated tribunal cases that really made Carlos realize the severity of his actions and that, you know, there would be consequences for these actions. It's not a perfect uh, situation. If once you get stamped like that, the community will always look at you. Well, it's, it's funny. I remember one, one time I was in a game and I was constantly bashing one, one guy, my jungler, constantly. I was telling him he was doing wrong gangs, I was telling him he was doing very bad, and he was, honestly, he didn't say a single word, a single word the whole game. And at the end of the game, he didn't tell me I'm gonna report you, he just told me, dude, you actually made me feel so bad that game. I kind of have a feeling for it. when he's uh, having trouble in his personal life, something is, is bothering him, and then I can see it when he's playing as well. You know, it's, it's something really sad that something like this has to happen for me to realize, but it, it teach me the most important lesson of my life, like literally. And since that moment and the moment I went to Gamescom in 2011, and I found a guy in, in a wheelchair that came from, from Paris actually, only to see me. And he saw me, I was a role model for him, and I was his idol. I realized that if I want to be a role model, and if I act like a douchebag, they're going to act like, th like that too. I decided to change myself, literally, thanks to those two things. Carlos was one of the pro players that, he, he came to us. You know, he came to us and said, I'm a pro player, and there's responsibility with that. And I want to change. How can you help me? I tried to watch his stream as much as possible and talk to him while I was watching his stream. So when he was, you know, shouting out some stupid comment, something that was in the direction of being toxic, it's like, hey, no, no, this is not the direction we want to take this. Now I decided to filter what I read and only read the good stuff. If I start reading, oh, so Lord, you are so, okay, I stopped. So Carlos isn't perfect. You know, in the middle of games, he's still gonna rage, he's still gonna feel frustrated. But instead of taking his own team down, he's now the guy that keeps his team together. Right now, I'm a person that still rages, of course, inside of me. Uh, but I try to make sure people around me don't feel it. When you don't say anything, or the only thing you say is good job or well done, and you read all the stuff they write, or when they're raging or whatever, then you're like, I was like this, I'm ashamed. He found his path in gaming and he's marching on this path. There's almost nothing that, that can stop him. You need to focus on every day being a better person. You don't need to just change from a diva to an angel to, from one day to another because both things don't quite exist, you know? You're always, we are always in the middle, but the problem is what we portray to the people around us.
Este programa llega gracias a... Volvió con duplica de Claro desde tres soles para llamar a cualquier móvil a nivel nacional. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, el juego de cartas coleccionables de Yu-Gi-Oh! ¿Quieres un impulso tecnológico futurista para tu mazo? Tú puedes añadir las máquinas del mañana a tu mazo hoy. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, disponible ya. Los sobres se venden por separado. Konami. Atención promos de todo el Perú. Si tienes un celular claro prepago, es tu día de suerte. Porque les traeremos todo un mundo de promociones que claro tiene para ustedes. Prepárense para llamar, navegar, chatear y mandar mensajes hasta quedarse sin dedos. Así que si les quedó claro, que comience la fiesta. Si eres claro prepago, eres promo. Aquí en El Cultural aprendemos y vivimos al máximo, conectados con un idioma que no tiene fronteras. No es un lugar, es algo que nos pertenece, que nos hace sentir, compartir, sonreír y lograr, porque es parte de nuestra vida. Cultural, it's you. Inicio de clases, 5 de agosto. <risa> 